Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. We're going to be getting started very shortly, everybody. Stick around. Two more minutes, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get started. Just two more minutes, or one more minute, one more minute. Come in, baby. Hope y'all ready for tonight. Get some cousin Drew, cousin Drew emotes in chat, ladies and gentlemen. All my subs. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Cousin Drew's Cooking Show, Season Two, Episode Thirteen. Tonight we're doing some chili and cornbread. What's happening, everybody? Welcome in, welcome in. Let me get my chat up on the screen. I'm gonna get my second monitor up so I can have that chat blown up. What's going on, everybody? Welcome in, welcome in. All right, get the music out the way. What's happening? What's up, Bonnie? Thanks for stopping by. I gotta send these alerts that were offline through because we had something happen. There we go. Thank you, Bonnie, for the follow. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. And for the sub. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Bonnie, if you click the little emote button at the bottom, you can use my cousin Drew emote. If you can't figure it out, ask, ask Kaylee or someone and they'll, they'll get you all hooked up. But that's one of the perks of getting subbed is you get to use the emote. So what's going on, everybody? Welcome in, welcome in. Pops, Liss, Ryan, Ma, Kaylee, Bonnie. What's going on, everybody? Welcome in tonight. We're going to do some chili and some cornbread. I'm actually going to be making my mother's um, cornbread recipe. It's one of my favorite things ever. She makes it on Thanksgiving. Kaylee was like, you got to do cornbread with the chili. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. And then my mom was like, do, do my recipe. And that's what I already kind of wanted to do. 
So she shot me the recipe, and that's what we'll be doing tonight. It's actually really easy, but just so delicious. Absolutely delicious. And then we're going to be making some chili from scratch. We got some beef, uh, do some ground beef, and we got some kidney beans. We'll throw a little jalapeno, poblano, red bell pepper, onion, garlic, uh, some seasonings in there. Get it, get it, you know, cook up real good. And then uh, we'll garnish it off nicely with some uh, green onion and some cheese and some sour cream and all that fun stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we need to get that casserole thrown in because that's going to take the longest. And then we're just going to start building our chili. By the time that casserole is finished up, I call it a casserole. It's called like a cornbread casserole, but tonight we'll call it cornbread. Um, so while that's cooking up in the oven, we're just going to get our chili going. Uh, and they should pretty much finish up around the same time. Cornbread takes about 45 minutes or so. Well, you know, give and take. So we'll get that chili going. That'll only take 30, 40 minutes. Kind of pull it all together, tighten it up, get the, uh, the flavor really concentrated in there. And uh, yeah, and then we're gonna serve it and eat it up. It's gonna be delicious. Uh, we'll make sure it's looking beautiful with a nice garnish on top. We've gotta take our, you know, our nice plate up in the camera. We'll have our picture taken for the social media for you guys. It'll be fun. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. We're gonna get our, um, our corn our uh, cornbread started. So, cream corn, cream style corn, whole kernel corn. We're gonna um, take those out. We're gonna drain the water out of the straight kernel corn. And we're gonna get all these things incorporated into a bowl. So like I said, my mother makes this for Thanksgiving typically. And it is like, absolutely delicious unbelievably delicious we got the recipe already pulled up perfect all right so we got our bowl we got our corn we got our jiffy corn mix what else we need we need our butter we got out uh, sour cream butter jiffy corn corn yeah I think we're good so we gotta melt our butter down, so let's go ahead and get this in a bowl. We're just gonna throw it in the microwave, kind of melt it down real quick. We don't wanna burn it, so we're just gonna melt it down a little bit at a time. Seconds and after seconds, stop it, kind of shake it around once it starts to melt, and then just go a little bit at a time, because you definitely uh, leave that thing going, it's gonna, it's going to burn. Hey, it's Deegan and Jalen. I love your cooking, Deegan. Love you, Uncle Jalen. EB says hi, too. Well, thank you guys for watching. What's going on, guys? That's amazing. Kaylee told me you guys were going to be watching. Thanks for stopping by, and thanks for the follow. Hope you guys are having a good night. We sure do miss you. You guys got to come visit. See your cousin Caden soon. He's getting so big. Love to see you guys again. And so would we. Let's do, uh, let's start at 15 seconds and then we'll just kind of keep going. So we got to pop off our tops here. So let's hop over to the, the can. So it takes this whole box, this whole box of, uh, of mix. So let's just toss that in there. Kaylee, they're talking to me, right? Stop chiming in. All right, I'm gonna break that up a little bit. Came out pretty, you know, with little clumps in it, so. We don't want no clumping. So just kind of break up little balls. You can use your finger, whisk, whatever you want to do. Your hands are clean. Gotta stay sanitary. Don't want to get yourself sick, anybody you're cooking with sick, so make sure you're washing them hands. Let's get our mix in there. Got the whole fan bam in here tonight. Alright. Wash my hands off. Crack open our 
whole corn kernel. It's got my hands all wet. Hold on. Can't even turn it. Oh, there we go. This thing's so weird. Usually they go both ways. This one definitely doesn't. A little off. All right. So we're gonna drain out our whole corn. Get all that liquid out of there. I'm gonna kind of shake it off in the sink. How's the weather over there? Is it snowing on you guys in Utah? Probably pretty chilly, I would assume. All right, let's get our cream corn opened up. Check on our butter. So our butter's started to melt down. So like I said, I'm gonna shake it, kind of try to help melt the rest of it down with the heat. Um, that's two 15 seconds for a full stick of butter. That's about how melted we've already gotten it. So there's just a couple more clumps. So we're just gonna throw it in another 15. Let that finish up. Corn, all that excess liquid out of there. All right, pop that over into our bowl. So we're basically just gonna take all our ingredients, mix them up in our bowl, and then we're gonna throw it into a dish and we're gonna bake it nice and simple, nice and easy. I'm telling you, the flavor, it is absolutely hands down one of the best things ever. And <laughs> it's so simple. All right, so all of our ingredients are so far in the bowl. We need to get our melted butter and our sour cream, and then we'll mix. And then we gotta see how much we have because I have a couple baking dishes we're gonna throw it in. All right, so we got our butter. Whole stick of melted butter. So you can tell it's super, super healthy and low cal this dish, so. You know, if you're going for that summer diet, this is something you could eat every day. Not. Okay. Sour cream right here. We need a cup. Had to get the, uh, Kaylee got the 16 ounce. She's smart because we need a little bit of sour cream for our chili. Because who the heck eats sour cream without, or chili without sour cream? Who eats sour cream without chili? Damn you. Pack up a cup. I'll switch over so you guys can see. Of course, I got a little on the cutting board. Mm. Alrighty. So, a cup of sour cream. Another extremely healthy ingredient going into this. Like I said, locale, beach bod. This is the dish. All right, Let's scrape that excess out of there. Cool. I'm gonna to rinse that off so it doesn't get all caked up on there. And I'll show you guys what we're looking like and we're gonna start mixing. Hey, chef dog, my man, what's happening? <laughs> He called me smart. Yeah, don't don't get used to it, babe. Don't get used to it. Chef dog, my man was bracken. All right, we're gonna need our can opener for our beans. So we've got all our ingredients right here. So what we're gonna do? Get a little mixing spoon. We're going to. 
mix everything together. I mean, honestly, it looks good raw. So, you can only imagine what it's going to look like once it's baked up. It's going to be a delicious compliment for our chili. Like I said, for you guys that just got in here, this is my mother's mother's little recipe that she makes on Thanksgiving. One of my favorite things ever. Alrighty. So, all our ingredients are nice and incorporated and mixed up together. Perfect. Let's get that into a bowl. Nothing, man. Just had a late dinner. What'd you have for dinner, my man? Had me a potato soup with jalapeno. Whoa. Gosh. How ironic, my brother. How ironic. See you making cornbread tonight, too. Alright, let's see. Oh, I don't think it's going to fit in that little guy. Oh, this will be perfect because it'll have a little bit of. Oops, I need that. It'll have a little bit of height on it, so we can slice it actually like bread once it cools. Even though it's more of like a casserole, but we'll uh, try to keep some body in it. All right, we're gonna get this in the oven. And we're just gonna let this baby, let this baby go. That out. So. Our delicious cornbread that's gonna go in the oven. So we toss that in. Rinse this real quick, guys. Guys, remember, clean as you go. It's your best friend. I didn't have a dishwasher at my old place back when I did my first season. Fortunate enough now to, but man oh man. Cleaning as you go, it will be your your best friend when you're cooking. Throw that over here. Yum, jalapeno cornbread, that's what I'm saying, Ma. Yeah, I used a cast iron skillet instead of a toaster oven. Oof, yummy. All right, we're popping this in, guys. A nice 350. We're just gonna let it go. You don't wanna go too high of a temp because you don't want it to burn around the edges and whatnot. So let's, we're just gonna let it go. Put this back in the fridge. Now we're gonna get started on our chili, guys. So we'll go through our prep items and then we will assemble and go from there. We have plenty of time with this casserole going, so we're not in too much of a rush. We can go through our prep, make sure you guys are getting your, your tip, picking up on your little tips you didn't know. I'm gonna grab a carrot. We got our beef, we're gonna take it out, let it get to room temp. We got all our veggies over here for you guys. We're gonna be using some beef stock. We're gonna be using some diced tomato with green chili instead of the regular, and then some, some kidney beans. So, we got all our ingredients out. Let's go ahead and get some prep cracking. We'll get a secondary cutting board where we will put all of our chopped items. Where is everyone? It's so quiet. Yeah, Monday night, man. It all right, people, people will work their way in. A little quiet, but it all good. All right, so we're gonna be using a pound of ground beef tonight. I'm making enough of a serving size for about four or so. Um, for me and Kaylee, I'm sure we'll have plenty for us too with a little bit of leftovers. And then we're gonna do uh, about a half an onion. We got a sweet onion, where you at? Half a sweet onion. Uh, about a half a carrot or so. We're, we'll adjust, you know, we'll chop it. We'll chop a little more and then we can always add in if we need it. Uh, we're gonna do about a quarter to a half of this bad boy. Probably about half the poblano. And then we're gonna add jalapeno to kind of see just, you know, 
how much spice we actually need in there as it cooks up. Because you, you get the seeds out of the jalapeno and you start cooking it down. The flavor um, really comes in and then the um, spice really tones down when you cook them. So we're gonna just chill, add it in little by little, get an idea compared to our other aromatics in there. All right, hone that up. Make sure we get a nice straight blade. Our green onion is gonna be our garnish tonight, but we'll go ahead and just chop it and get everything ready, right? Get everything ready. All right, guys, so let's do this. So we'll start off with our onion. So take your sides off. Cut it in half. Peel that skin off. How's work been going? It's been good. It's been picking up. September tends to be a slow month, and so we're and October creeps into getting busier and busier. Now we're in November, so we're picking up a lot. So it's very nice. How about you? How's work going for you, my man? We're going to do a small dice here, guys. Getting an idea of where I want it. You been busy over there, Chef Dog? Alright, so we're going to get a smaller dice on our onion. This is a really, really, really good onion. I only know that because it's making my eyes water a little bit. Make sure I got this almost all the way up to the tip. All right. Oh yeah. Man, I haven't had an onion on stream that actually made my eyes water. This one, low key, is totally making my eyes water. <laughs> That's a good onion. Terrible snowbirds and rich Miami people coming down because there's so much congestion on the roadway. Oh, that's a shame, man. That's an absolute shame. All right. Ma, where's Ryan at? All right. Where's N Liz? Where's Nate at? thought he said he was coming by. Texted me earlier, ask him. Nobody there. All right, we move our onion off. Now we're gonna move on to do our red pepper. All right, so we're gonna use one about half or so. So let's just. So I just took a nice little slice off. We got the gut still in there. So just use your knife. Kind of fillet it out of there. All right, so now we get that nice white vein gone. Kind of push it back just to see if anything is there. It's all good. So they teach you, which is a lot easier, especially for people with duller knives. Cut it on this side. I tend to cut it on this side. It really doesn't matter. It's definitely harder to cut through the skin. And if you have a duller knife, don't even bother. Just go on this side. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do a nice small dice on this. All right, so we got like a julienne cut there. All right, turn it. Nice small dice. We got a nice small dice on that. Everything's gonna cook down into our chili, so it doesn't need to be too small, definitely not too big. Maybe I should try this recipe tomorrow, Deegan. Absolutely. Absolutely. Taking dogs out, he'll be on shortly. Oh, poor guy, why don't you do it, Alyssa? I thought I thought uh I thought they're your dogs. 
since you post your snap your daily Snapchat with them. Poor Nate. Making him go out in the snow and cold. Poor young man. Alright, so our pepper's down. Uh, we're do half our poblano. So big side, big flat side's gonna be right here. Do the same thing. Slice down. Kind of crack it open. You can see that vein right there, All right? Fillet the guts out. Now we got a nice cleaned up poblano, right? Same idea here. So the idea here is just to be consistent in size with everything else. For the chilies, I like to go a tad bit smaller than the onion. I like a little bit of onion bite in my chili, right? So these are also like a lot of personal preference, guys. So when you're doing your knife cuts for your chili, depending on what ingredients you like in your chili that you like to taste more, get a bigger bite of, whatever, you can adjust your knife cuts size-wise. You know, that's all personal preference. If you're, sh if you're shooting to like impress somebody with it, you know, make them all uniform and nice and the same size. But when you're cooking for yourself, I mean, come on now. Jay Fay, come visit Jalen, Miss Uncle. Oh, what's up, Jay? I like the name, Jay Fay. We miss you guys. That's not how you're a single child that's not fighting. <laughs> I know it would be a lot of fun. Let's do um, half our jalapeno, guys. That would be a lot of fun. I'm just going to split this sucker in half. All right, so when you do your jalapeno, you got guts and seeds in there. So, cut around the outsides of it. Cross the top. We're going to square it off around it. And then I just pull it out, see the release, over the trash, because the seeds are going to fall out. So, do it over the sink or the trash, just so you're not getting the hot, spicy seeds all over your, your cutting board. You're just pulling a little bit out, especially the seeds, and then we're going to cut the rest out like we just did. Alright, so, we're going to cut, see it still has a couple of the, the guts in there, of the pepper. So we're just going to slice those out, fillet them. Perfect. Some of those seeds out of there. Right? So we got our jalapeno. See, I like doing it this way because it sits like this and it's just easier for me to, to do faster knife cuts. But like I said, stick to the other side, especially with a with a regular old house knife. Kitchen knife, I guess it'd be called. I have a sharp, sharp chef knife, so it's not really a problem for mine to go through this, but not the average person, not every average person has just a, you know, a chef knife on them that can cut like that. So just be, it's more about just being more careful too. All right. Jalapeno chop. So we got a little smorgasbord right here. Okay. We got green onion and we got carrot that we're going to be throwing on there and garlic. So let's get our carrot done. We're actually going to clean up this carrot just a tad bit. Oh, you know what? First and foremost, so we don't mix. Let's wash the hands. Because we just touched jalapeno. Wash the hands. Don't get caught touching your face, your eyes. What's that knife brand? It's a... Uh, <coughs> Japanese, or I can't, it's hard to pronounce it quite right, Roshaku or Roshaku or something like that. I got it out in Hollywood. It's got a nice little logo there. I'm going to wash it off real quick, so 
Nemesis, what's crack a lack? And everybody, welcome Nemesis back in the chat. What's going on, man? Love it. Everyone's in chat. How's your night going, Nemesis? Great to see you. Come on, guys and girls. Welcome, welcome Nemesis back into the chat. It's great to see you again, my friend. Don't scratch. Yeah, no shit, dad. No, no shit. All right, we're gonna get a little bit of. Um, I'm gonna get a little wet paper towel here. I'm not gonna be doing too much cutting after this. And it's all going in the same spot. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of that jalapeno out of there, right? Um, where's my carrot? All right, so carrot. We're gonna shave all that down there. All right? Go at your own speed, your own pace careful you just want to not leave you know too much junk on there it's all about cleaning the carrot up brings that vibrant orange color out a lot too when you clean it up like that see with all that dirty skin off there it's more or less about how, how dirty it really is too going good brother glad to see y'all too absolutely absolutely it's always good to see you how do you remedy jalapeno hands? I'm not talking preventative, Matt. <laughs> um, I wash them two or three times, depending on that spice. I was lucky enough to get it off right there all at once. Still a little bit there, but I'd wash it a couple times. Um, you can always throw vinegar or something on there. Something strong, it'll take it off. All right, we're gonna do about half our carrot. I like to use the big side too. So take the ends off, right? So now you have your like rectangle here, right? So I'm gonna actually cut that in half. We're gonna cut some sheets. Okay, all the same, all the same width. That one I left a little big, so I'm just gonna cut it down a little more. Like that. All right. So. We got our little carrot sheets here, right? So I'm gonna line mine up, and put the ends on the end. So it's all about like, you know, time and, and consistency. So you could do this one at a time, right? And it's gonna be cool. Or you can do them all in a row, and then you can turn them and align them, and you can do them all in a row, and you could save a bunch of time. That's what, that's what you learn working in a restaurant. Nate Dio Dub, my man's what's going on. So good to see you, Nate Dog. Pops gifting the sub over to Nemesis. Welcome to the family tree, Nemesis. Thanks, Pops. I appreciate it. I hit the eyes with some Thai pepper juice one night, and it wasn't pretty. Oh, I could imagine. That sounds absolutely awful. There, look at chat bumping now. Oh, Pops gifting the, gifting the sub over to Jay Fay. Thanks, Pops. Welcome, Jay. Now you can spam the little emotes, Jay. Kaylee can tell you how to do it. Maybe explain it more in depth if you can't find it already. But if there's a little emoji thing down there that you just gotta, you just gotta click on it. It'll bring it up. All right, so I'm making my little julienne cuts. Okay. All right, so now I have them all lined up like that. So the goal here. Turn them in bunches. All right, look at that. Let's get those light, skinny pieces out of there. All right. Now, oh, hello. Got a surprise for you guys after I cut this carrot. I'm sure everybody in chat tonight is going to be especially excited for our, our surprise. <laughs> Alright. Carrots all diced up. Nice and consistent. Throw that on there. Okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna jump over to our surprise. Pop's coming in with 
400 bits. Thanks, Pops. Appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. Oh, I love it. I love it. Wait, what? Yeah, it's more garlic, but. Oh. We have a sleepy boy here tonight. He just woke up from his nap. Say hi to your cousins and your auntie and your uncle and your papa. You got all your aunties and uncles here. Like Grant, both grandmas. Say hi. He's so sleepy. Oh, hello, big oh. boy. You looking at everything? Say hello, everybody. What do we got over here? Look at all the things. Look at all the colors. You want some jalapeno raw? <laughs> You're crazy. Your diapers would be so fun. <laughs> Your diapers. Careful, careful. You almost just knocked that light. Go ahead. Um... Say hi. Come on, wake up. <laughs> oh, that is a smile. There's a smiley boy. There's a smile. <laughs> Love you. Oh, yeah. Little smush. Kaylee's across from me, yeah. Want to say, come say hi? Say hi to your family. Oh. <laughs> Come say hi. Say hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> oh. 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 What? <laughs> Bless you. Yeah, that's jalapeno. Jalapeno got you sneezing, huh? Uh. Oh shit. <laughs> Royal Son, what's happening? Maxi, everybody's coming in now. They wanted to see the little mans. Max coming in with a 15 month resub. Love you, Maxi. Thank you, man. Thank you, almost as long as I have. That's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, baby, here. We got to get cracking. Love you. This is Kenny, though. <laughs> Are you officially a cam girl? Hey, wait, you forgot. <laughs> no. <laughs> What? Oh, the most important. Love you. Love you, bye. Alright, so let's get back to the cooking, ladies and gentlemen. So you got your cute Kate in a second. Let's get a little bit of green onion chopped here. I'm going pretty thin shaved here. Again, this is garnish. For our chili. Perfect. Alright, so we got a mountain top of green onion there. Nice and thin shaved. Let's make some room over here on our little board. I like doing my boards like this. We've done it in the past. I used to do my little prep mise en place cups like I used to do in school, but I like doing my little board. It's easier to bring all the ingredients over for you guys and show you. Or anybody that's curious on what we're working with that came in late. It's just a little easier. All right. Anybody that doesn't own one of these that cooks a bench scraper, they're the best things on the planet. You can literally scrape, look at that. I got all the juice and like excess junk off my cutting board right there. These things are the best. You get them at any restaurant supply store. Order it on Amazon, super, super cheap. All right. So what's going on? We got Nemesis in chat. Man, thank you so much for coming by. Welcome to the family tree. I appreciate that, Pops, I do. Oh, Pops coming in with a gifted sub to Unreal San. What's happening, son? So good to see you. So good to see you. It's been a minute, I hope all's going well. So guys, here's our little board. We got a red bell, carrot, green onion, jalapeno, poblano, onion, right? So, oh, garlic. Duh. 
We gotta have some garlic, ladies and gentlemen. We are gonna do what? A couple cloves. A couple cloves of garlic. Garlic. Thought I had a couple floating. Yes, I do the. the I spend the extra buck to get the uh, the good stuff. That's already peeled. I don't have to make a mess. Judge me if you want. I want him. He misses his cousins, that's for sure. Absolutely misses his cousin. Oh, Bonnie, thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate that. Bonnie coming in with the 300. I still need to season my board. What are you cooking, Son? What are you making tonight, huh? All right, so. Oh, there, Bo. That didn't look good. That had a little something on it, so we're not using it. Break this back open. I don't know what that was, but I did not like the look of that. Let's get a new piece. There we go. That was the floater. All right. Okay. We're going to get our beef marked off right after this, guys. And then we're starting the whole cooking process for our chili. Um, and then I think, uh, I think if not this Wednesday, I don't think we'll do it Wednesday. Maybe, depending on what we're doing tomorrow, we might go by there. But if not, then we'll do our giveaway next week. But we are doing another subscriber giveaway for you guys. Because they're, you know, so damn generous of you guys being here, dropping bits, subbing to the channel. And I just got to get back and show my appreciation to you guys. Nate's got his uh, on the way. And uh, he was our first winner of this giveaway, this past giveaway. It's just a randomly generated giveaway on the last one, but this one I do want a dish cooked from you guys. So um, we'll announce it, I think. Okay, so this is what we'll do. We'll announce it on Wednesday. We'll announce it on Wednesday, and then we'll give you the whole week or rest of the week until Monday to come back with a picture sent to me by that Monday of whatever dish of mine you recreated that you watched on YouTube, whatever episode, whatever dish you want to recreate. Um, and then you have to be a subscriber to do this giveaway. And we're gonna um, we're gonna pick a winner and then we're gonna post the plate on stream. We did this again, uh, we did this last season. When I buy a bag, they get moldy. I usually go through it fast enough pops, but I had that floater in here and I think the moisture got trapped and since it wasn't in its own little thing, I think it got a little bit of a, a little mold on it. Took the night off, but planning for Thanksgiving, I'll be making a ham, corn casserole, and a Cajun turkey gravy. Yum. Cajun turkey gravy? Got my, got my mouth watering. All right. Board is done. We're gonna get cracking on our chili. We gotta brown up our meat, huh? So we're gonna brown up our meat. We're gonna add some onion to it. We're gonna cook that down. We're gonna add in our poblano, our red bell. Cook that down. Our carrot, jalapeno. And then we'll add our garlic last because garlic cooks the fat, you know, cooks up the fastest. So you want to have pretty much everything already done at that point. Then we're going to add our tomatoes. We're going to open those up. And then we're going to add our beans. Um, then we're going to go ahead and uh, add our seasonings in with the liquid um, and with our beef broth. And then we're going to just kind of pull all that together and cook it down. And all that's going, all that flavor is just going to combine together. It's going to be absolutely delicious. Dad always makes good chili, I agree. Never too much family reunions? Absolutely not, that's one of the main reasons I do this. Get a family reunion twice a week. All right, so, all right, moving them over here. So we got our broth, we need to open our kidney beans. We're gonna drain those out, get all the liquid out of there. And then I did get diced tomatoes with green chilies, just another level of flavor, um, always trying to implement that flavor, you know what I mean? All right, that cornbread casserole's got a little longer. I just want to peek in at it, get an idea of where we're at after we drain these out. 
You know, we got a... Oh! Joe Cow! Holy crap! Man, it's been a minute! Joe, how you doing, dude? Wow! Everybody in chat, please welcome in Joe Cow. I've known Joe Cow since I first started streaming before my cooking show. I'm gonna rinse my beans off. Before I started doing my cooking show, before I even really streamed, I was doing my own thing on uh, Twitch, streaming games, and Joe is one of my uh, one of my first original followers. That's crazy. What's up, Joe? Everyone, welcome in, Joe. Been a minute. Uh, Oh, okay. I'm glad you said that, son. Um, I'm a, I, I use stewed tomatoes when I do my marinara, and I was thinking that, too. I was like, that would be so good. So next time I make chili, I'm going to try it. I, I do. Don't even worry about back seating. I love tips. I love anything like that. You just you, you have no, no worries when it comes to that, my man. I appreciate that. I'm going to definitely try that, though. That sounds awesome. Um, since we got, you know, chat bumping, guys, feel free to get a topic started. All right, our pan is hot. We're gonna add some oil. Oh, let's let's open our beef real quick, so we can get it thrown in there. So we just got some eighty-five fifteen ground beef. Pretty pretty basic. I always like the fire the um, higher fat content because it's just more flavor. Wash my hands. Okay, who here likes root beer floats? I absolutely love me a good root beer float. Absolutely. Anybody else like different types of floats? What, what's your favorite float, if not root beer? What other soda are you adding in there? Strawberry soda, cream soda? I'm about to sleep here. I stop in and say hello for the first time in a while. Well, I absolutely appreciate it. It is so good to see you, Joe. Hope everything's going well with you, man. What's going on with you? What are you up to nowadays? All right, guys, so we got our oil in our pan heating up. Let's let it warm up a sec. Coke float. Coke float all the way. Okay, see, here we go. I love root beer, but I, I do like me a Coke float. I'll stop by more though I'm a bit more active on Twitch again. Absolutely, Joe, please do. RC Cola. Trick or treat or dodger, or treat or dodger with lights of what, 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 what? You have to go to bed, school tomorrow? No worries, guys. Let me, hold on one sec. I'll come back. Let me just uh, get all this beef out, one sec. This container's cool because it's easier to break up the ground beef because they already have it in a pound patty. So it's way easier to break up. Hold on, let me wash my hands. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. One sec, one sec. Little cinnamon at the top of the ice cream. Oh, I gotta have that cin little touch of cinnamon. Bye, guys. Love you guys. So thank you so, so much for stopping by. I'm glad you guys are all hooked up so you can come watch some more often, get some rest, have a good time at school. Love you guys. All right. That fat moved around in there. Start up the, the dicing process here. Once this gets going, we'll throw in some aromatics with that. You don't want to overcook the beef too much before you start adding everything. You want it all kind of cooked together. Beef can be gummy, so just kind of make sure you break it up a little bit, and then as it cooks, it becomes a lot easier to break up as it, as it browns. I use some 8515 Angus for some thick, yeah, absolutely, Pops. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. All right, next topic, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm going to choose the next topic. If you could visit one place in the entire world, where would you go? My answer? I think at this point in my life, the one place I would absolutely want to go would be Italy. You guys? Alright. Start 
breaking it up a little more. See it's starting to brown up nicely. A little bit longer and we're adding our onion in there. Tahiti, Fiji, Australia, Greece, or London? Yeah, agreed. Walk the streets of Rome, I love it. S close, second, Bangkok, all right. New Zealand, uh, Nate, I'm right there with you on New Zealand, my friend. That would be kick ass, yo. All right, oh yeah, our cornbread is rising up, guys, looking beautiful, looking absolutely beautiful. It's gonna be killer. Alright, so we're browning up pretty nicely. I'm going to turn up the heat. We're going to start adding in some aromatics, guys. Get that onion thrown in there. You can let a little bit of the other stuff fall in, it's not going to hurt. I just want to start the onion in there first. It's all about layers and and um, flavor, right? So we're going to add the onion in, we're going to get that flavor going. Add a little salt on top, help draw out the moisture. Pull off what you can of the other stuff. Alright, so we have about half an onion. Let that go. Favorite holiday, okay? What kind of cornbread are you making? Um, so I'm, I'm making a, um, a cornbread casserole uh, type. It's my, my mother's recipe that she makes every Thanksgiving. It's just one of my favorite things ever. And Kaylee demanded uh, cornbread, so. That's what we're putting together. It's actually super simple, super easy. Um, consists of what, one, two, three, four, five ingredients thrown together and then baked. It's so simple, so easy. Shawnee, my man's was cracking, dude. Everyone say what up to Shawnee. What's going on, Shawnee Bell? My brother, what's happening? Okay. Onions cooking down nicely. Looking real, real good. Smelling even better, let me tell you. All right. Start adding some more things. Carrot. Poblano. Red pep. Add our jalapeno in. We're gonna do about half our jalapeno. Uh, you know what? We're gonna be bold. We're throwing in all our jalapeno. Get it, Kobe. The garlic will go in in just a tad bit. Look at that! Look at those beautiful colors right there. Woo, baby! As those aromatics sweat down, I'm telling you, the flavor release is so incredible, so delicious. Looks like we're going to need a bigger surface area. Hmm. Debating throwing it in a bigger pan. Let it spread out a little more. Poblano is underused pepper. Not so much heat, but a lot of flavor. Absolutely. Drew, you watched. Wait, is there another one, Sean? Like another new one? After the one he just released not that long ago? Is that what are you. If that's the case, I have not, and I absolutely will. We'll add some pepper, some more salt. Let's cook in a little garlic powder in there. How new is it, Shami? Oh, this is working good. It's 
Sticks and Stones. I don't think I've seen it. Chappelle's a genius. Absolutely. We've been watching Chappelle forever. We are throwing some paprika in there. Absolutely. Smoke pep. Would it be a crime if I ate that right now? <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm telling you, it smells and looks so good. Okay, we got plenty of heat in this pan. It's because it's the stainless steel. All right, our beans are all drained out. We got our diced tomato with green chili, more flavor. Um, our broth. We need to make some, some broth on stream. Maybe like one and a half cups or so of broth. We definitely need to do a, a broth on stream. Now that I got the kitchen that aerates well and the heat won't suffocate me like it would at my old place if I did that. Get a little bit of airflow in the pad. A little bit hot. Perfect. So we're cooking down very nicely. Our onions are starting to get translucent. Nice. Still have a little bite to it, like we want. All right. We're just kind of sweat it out a little bit. Let the flavors release and mix. We're just gonna give it like another three or four minutes, then we're gonna throw our uh, all of our broth and everything in. Our tomatoes and our broth and our seasonings. All right. Let's get about. I'm gonna say a cup and a half. A little extra for love. We got some good beef broth. Oh, absolutely, Pops. Absolutely. I was dying laughing on the plane going to Europe watching it. Would it be a crime if... Um, yeah, no, it's, it's going to be good. Alright. Oh, yeah, we're getting a lot of heat. This is perfect. I, I forgot, like, how much my stainless steel really retains that heat and in a smaller crowded pan so still gets the job done. Oh, you know what we need to do now? Add our garlic. Flip that. I'm going to basically fold it in to the bottom and let that garlic kind of cook up now on that hot bottom and the rest of it. We'll fold it a couple more times and then it's, uh, then it's time to hit it with the tomatoes and beans and broth. Let's throw our spices together real quick, guys. Let's grab a little dish. I don't know what I need, teaspoons or something? I think some teaspoons. Okay, so we need some, a teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon, fourth a teaspoon of pepper. some chili powder. I'm gonna do like one, one and a half or so. Cumin, gotta have that cumin. Do about almost a full teaspoon. That smoke pat. Almost, oh, that's a little bit extra. Almost a full teaspoon. Gotta have that ground mustard powder, ladies and gentlemen. Bonnie coming through with another 300 bits. Nate coming in with 300 bits. Thank you guys. I really do appreciate that. Very, very nice, you guys. Gotta have that ground mustard, though. Game changer. And lastly, that garlic powder. About a half a teaspoon. All right, I can smell it. It's ready. Oh, I'm forgetting one thing, guys. Sugar. All right. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted right there. That's like some some caramelization at the bottom. Woo! Wish you guys could smell that right now. It smells incredible. 
All right, let's hit it with our diced tomato. Our beans. I'm grabbing my sugar, guys. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of sugar in there. Just really balances it out. Sounds weird, but it, 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 it's a thing. It's a thing. Don't question it. Just believe in me. We have our little spice blend here. All right. Pop on over, fella. Seasonings. Mix it up a little more. And now our cook down begins, baby. Let that come together for a little while. That should be a nice little addition to our add to the meatiness. Now that's going to cook down on a simmer. We're going to get it to a boil. We're going to turn it down to a simmer. How good does that look, guys? Woo, baby! Ooh, and pot pie. Any brown sugar? No, not, not in this one. I'm going to play around with the, I, I'm a big brown sugar guy, son, so I'm going to play around with some brown sugar chili, and I'm going to go ahead and take your advice and do the stewed tomatoes with it and see, see what happens, but I don't, um, I don't, I don't tend to make chili too often. I love to eat it, but I don't eat it that often, so I'm still playing around with it, so any tips you want to throw in, do it. If you could only cook with one, which would you choose? Garlic, onion, or shallot? Uh, I'm gonna let that Italian in me say garlic, my friend. But shallots, close, because I'm a huge shallot guy, and you guys know that. You watch the damn stream, all right? You know how much I love shallot. So, I can't believe you even put me in that position to choose, Nate. Come on. All right, got a little bit of raw jalapeno on my board, mixed into my green onion, so I'm gonna garnish it. And one of us is getting some raw jalapeno, which I don't really mind too much. Alright. Our cornbread casserole is looking delicioso. I think the timing's gonna be perfect because that's not too far from being done, but it still needs a little time because this this casserole is thick. My mom does it in like these Pyrex glass ones that are a little wider. Mine, however, is a little bit thinner or not thinner, I guess, uh, smaller and thicker. So it's rising up like big. So this is gonna be, this is gonna be killer. But we do want it to cool down because when it cools down, it's gonna come together and then I can like hopefully slice it like bread even though it's more of a casserole, we'll see what happens. What? Sue Bob coming in with a thousand bits? Thanks mom, Jeez Louise. Thank you, it means a lot. You guys are paying for groceries tonight, I appreciate that. Look at this, guys. Come on. What? Look at this. Whose man's is this? Oh my goodness. This looks killer. Oh, how's that look? That's what I'm talking about. All right, next topic. Next topic. Let's 
Somebody go ahead and make the next topic. Love grilled onions on everything, as do I, Bonnie. You can pretty much put grilled onions on anything, too. Let's go ahead and uh, clean up a tad bit. We got a couple of these things put away in some baggies. We got a little time. We'll take the cornbread out shortly, show you guys the progress it's made. But we don't want to take it out too early, and we don't want to take it out too often because we want it to still cook up, you know what I mean? Pop our jalapeno back. Put our poblano. Gotta keep those ingredients fresh. Not let them dry out. Mm. Seafood, red meat, chicken, pork, or other. Okay. Sushi, beef all the way. Red Dawn, Garmin OC, my man's. He's watching that Monday night game. I got it on in the background. I haven't even really looked though because I've been so damn busy. Um, who you guys got? Cowboys or Giants? I mean, obviously. Oh, it's 30 to 18? Jesus, Cowboys got it. Giants suck this year. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, red meat. I can't, I, it's red meat or pork, but beef is like, I don't know. I don't know how you go without beef, but I, I definitely fuck with some, some pork too. cheese and sour cream, the onion, so we're looking good on all that, on our garnish and everything. Daisy, you want some carrot? Here, we'll go back and we'll do some Daisy cam for you guys. You want some, some carrots, my love? Come here. dogs and they love them at least my dog does let's turn that down to a lower simmer now that it's cracking i'll show you guys in a sec <laughs> them, them daisy Daisy comments though, everyone loves them some data, some Daisy. Run, Caden, run. Careful, grandma's spelling your name wrong. Here. Alright. Alright guys, we have a little bit of a down period here, so let's get some more topics going. Um, fuck man, maybe we should just talk about the giveaway tonight since we have the time. And then we'll give you till next Monday. Does that sound does that sound like good guys? Now that we've got like 20 people here. You guys think that's a good idea? Naked in socks. Running around naked in socks. That's awesome. Hey baby, if you want to bring him down again, we got some, some camera time. We got we got a little bit of time. Fat fingers on small keys. <laughs> oh, check this out. Get a nice simmer going here. Yeah. Woo! Smells so good. Yummy, yummy to my tummy. All right, let's check this casserole out, y'all. Y'all, y'all. All right. I'm gonna put a couple pads down here. Take it out in a sec. He's not even on camera. <laughs> so close. <laughs> what? 
Show you guys Caden, but he's butt naked. Can't put can't put him on Twitch like that. Sorry. Even if it's just his butt showing. Alright. Oh, okay. Jeez. Hello, Taco. Say hello. Hello, Taco. Say hi, I'm Caden. Crazy Caden. Hi, I'm Crazy Caden. The lamp is now behind his bed because he pulled it down. <laughs> you pulled the lamp down? You silly, silly boy. <laughs> You're silly. See that chili sign? Kaden's like, yeah. So what did I miss? What are we doing? What do we got time for? What's going on? Here, grab him. Best of it. All right. Let's get this taken out for you guys. This thing looks epic. I have skewers, I think, somewhere. Look at that, guys. Where are my skewers? Skewers. So we're basically just going to check and see if it's got that wet, wet inside. Yes, it does. But, very close. So, Sue, it's uh, it's okay. You you want a little bit of wetness or none at all? Because it's very light, but it also is like gonna carry over, you know, when you take it out. So, what are you thinking? Is Caden gonna have chili? Yeah, if it's not if it's not spicy. I think it's got jalapeno up in that ass gonna be shooting out like gnarly diapers. What do you so what's the answer, Sue? Ba ba ba. I hear you, mister. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna get that top crispy. You best believe that. A little more golden, a little wet. Okay, so let's crank up the heat. It's uh, close to being a little wet, but we need we need that color. Let's get that top torched. Do you know what? I think I even have a torch in my garage. I, I so do. Look, I'm going to put you guys on the chili for a second. I'm going to run out and grab that. Or, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. If I can get it enough color with the heat, then we'll let it, let it be. But if not, then I'll... Um, yeah, so I got it up. I'm just going to heat it first, and then, yeah, we're just going to boil. It's going to heat up and, and then really start torching the top. <laughs> I'm just watching Caden chat. So funny. So funny. This. Whew. All right, let's give it a little. I gotta taste it. it smells too damn good. <laughs> what, Mister? You guys hear Caden back there chatting? Let's see where we're at flavor-wise. 
He's a talker? Yeah, he's like his mother. <laughs> it's hotter than the devil's D. Definitely needs a little salt though, no doubt. All right, guys, come on now. What's the next topic, chat? What's our next topic? <laughs> what do you think? Kate? Okay, okay. What do you guys think Caden's first word is gonna be? I'm going with. I'm going with Daisy. Like his real, his first real word, not like mama, dad, dad. Like first real word. I'm going with Daisy. I'm going with more. Uh, more? <laughs> no, honey, Bonnie. <laughs> Ooh, saute. I like that, son. Daddy saute. Sexy saute. Yeah, you like that, dude? <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, we're getting color. Let's get that cornbread's gonna be done. We're gonna take it out, rest it. We're gonna let the chili finish up. Um, I'm gonna give it another ten to fifteen. Flavors really come together a lot already. Um, now, if I wasn't streaming, I would let my chili go for for hours, hours and hours. We're doing a stream. It's gonna be. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be perfect. If this, if the flavor wasn't there when I just tasted it, we would let it go a while. But we're, we're looking good. And if, and I'm also making a smaller batch. The um, the original recipe that I was gonna do it for would feed like eight people or so. So I basically just chopped that in half. Um, so we're not working with nearly as much anyways. But when you when you're doing a big pot, you gotta let all that flavor really really come together. First word was pop, pop. He already said it. I'm saying real words, not not baby words. Yeah. I'm going with more mac and cheese, please. You're talking about Kaylee or Caden? Water? Okay, that's not about He loves water, Nemesis. Absolutely loves water. I make mine chili. There you go. Yeah, exactly, Ma. Leave it on all day. Hey, Derek. Two-month resub. My man. Everybody welcome Derek into the chat. My, my man. What's going on, Derek? Thank you so much, brother. I, I I appreciate that very, very much, dude. Checking on the chili, guys. Baby, this chili is gonna be so good. Um, I'm excited. <laughs> you mentioned the chili cook off that <laughs> Doubt it. Oh, That's baby, that true. color on the cornbread, y'all. We're gonna give it another minute. Oh shit, I'm looking at it on the TV, on our huge living room TV. I'm watching our stream because Kaylee's out here. Man, that looked good on the TV. <laughs> that down over there on the TV. I'm so hungry watching this. Damn, Max. Good. <laughs> Guys, let's get some Cousin Drew emotes in chat right now. Did you see the new kitten, Drew? Did you send it in Discord, Max? Because if you did, I did not see it. I, um, I had to run out of the garage. I didn't realize how, how behind I was. I got stuck out there posting their, um, the ingredients and stuff up on Nightbot. This deer chili. Oh, Nemesis, now you're speaking my language. Pops, I know you fuck with that. Oh, you know what we're doing? Okay, okay. We're doing a bison brown sugar sweet stewed tomato chili. We're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that in the library, and we're gonna do that in a couple weeks. It's, it's, it's fall. It's getting cold. We can do, yes, venison chili, baby, and that's for you, pops. I know you like that. All right, two more minutes, and that shit's done. You're coming together. I have fresh yelp, elk yo. Oh, I love me some elk. Fresh too, like fresh, like like you hunted, caught, or someone caught and gave to you. 
<laughs> Once Caden's a little older, guys, I'll be able to have him in his high chair, and he can chill in here with us for a bit. Um, but his he he's he's too much of a spaz right now. I'm into the game meets, absolutely. So am I. I'm in Montana. It was a roadkill salvage. There we go. Let's go. Someone's got to do something with it. chilly though. Man, it looks so good. Ever tried ostrich? I've had ostrich egg. I've got a stash of ground yell yet. I'm always a bird. I've, I was always a bird hunter, but I've been thinking about going after big game. Okay, okay. All right, guys, I'm turning off the oven. Let's check on our cornbread, y'all. Caden, you ready for this cornbread, yo? Ooh, hoo, hoo. Let's go! Oh, yeah. Ah. Ah. <laughs> you guys hear him? <laughs> the meat is flaky red meat. Can you see through my chef coat? Alright. Look at that. Would you look at that? Caden, chill, bro. It's not your stream. It's my stream, all right, kid? Look at that. It's got a beautiful, beautiful color. We're going to let that chill. Where's my stick at? Perfect. Perfect. Let's go. I am extremely happy with the way this just turned out. Making mama proud. Hey. Mama, we made it! Hey. <laughs> Again, Kaylee. Let's go. Alright, guys. We're going to give our chili about five minutes or so. Oh, it's looking absolutely fire. This chili's on fire. Alright. It's it's Caden's stream now. Step aside, right? You know what, guys? Just because this shit looks so good, and I love all you guys so much, and I appreciate the subs coming in tonight, the bits coming in. Um, thank you so much, guys. Let's go ahead and, and get some friendly old Jameson in the house. Neighborhood JMO. Cheers. First one always burns. Looks divine. Thank you, sir. All right, guys. Let's get our bowl skis ready. Our cheddar cheese. We gotta get our cheddar out. Oh, our avocado. We gotta cut up our avo. We still got things to do. We're not out here just playing playing FF right now. All right, where's my ripe avocado for tonight? I swear to God, this store had like the worst effing avocados. There we go. Cheese, a little dollop of sour cream. I right, this green onion put away. Okay. That, that, that. Looking good. Dude, I love Boss Baby. That's so funny that you say that, Nemesis. The one show that, um, that I actually thoroughly enjoy watching with Caden is Boss Baby. It is so funny. Is this that hot? 
Jake, yeah, I like Jake in the Neverland Pirate, but uh, Boss Baby's laughs. He reminds me of like a kid version of Stewie from Family Guy. Whoa, what I just do? Get out of here. No, it is. It's way good. It's way good. I agree. All right. Oh, I'm over here. There we go. All right, I need to look at my my screen. Did it change? Come on. Okay, yeah, we got we got a nice clear view here. We want a nice avocado garnish on top of our um, top of our chili. We got a little avocado here for Caden. We need a little bit for a din din tonight too. I can't stand Mickey's Playhouse when I'm watching with my nieces and nephews. Hot dog! Hot oh, that's my jam, Max. I even know the hot dog dance. Caden loves Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I love it. How could you not like it? We got a nice, beautiful fr This is actually like a perfect avocado. I'm out here talking shit, and I actually picked like the perfect avocado. All right. It's like so vibrantly green and shit. It's nice. All right. It's a classic, right? Don't put a knife through your hand cutting avocado like both parents have done. Yeah, no shit. Little boy loves avocado and hummus. Oh yeah. If you don't like avocados, something's wrong with you for real. Avocado is the best. I think like all my cousins on my mom's side actually hate avocado. I think. Pretty sure that's what was happening that one night when we were in chat. Everyone's like, no avocado. Like, what? We are little fans. Shauna too, man. One day. One day. Uh, this bread is sitting perfect. The chili though. Pop in on it on everybody. Oh. Absolutely unreal. Unreal. Alright. I'm gonna add a little more broth in there. Want a little bit more liquid for my 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 serving. We got a nice reduced liquid down there. Oh yeah. Perfect. Alright. Looks so good. But Sean is an alien. Hey, Ryan, what's up, brother? Everybody, welcome in my man, Ryan. What's going on, baby? Hey, 100 biddies for the avo. I will take it. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I say I eat mostly everything. Not a big fan of olives. You know, olives are one of those things that a lot of people just do not like, you know? It is just one of those things. I, I personally love olives. Such sisterly love. <laughs> Ryan, what's happening, man? Did you stream earlier? Pineapple? Yeah, babe, we all know your hate for pineapple. All right. <laughs> all right, guys. Our chili's looking good. Okay, let's go one more time for the one time. Look at that. We gotta add some salt, a little more pep. Okay. Salt. A little more pep.
taste a little bit of it. Knock my little spot right there. See if our seasoning's right. Kaylee loves Chinese food. No, you know what? Max, she's warmed up a lot to Chinese food. I like I like I like pineapple on my pizza pops. Not today, Monday is usually chill day. I feel you. Alright, we're good. I swear I put the perfect amount of salt. Oh, and then let's check back on this. Our cornbread has come together very nicely. We gotta go up more. Let's do this. Ooh, hot AF. Where's my other bed? Let's do this. God, that's hot. All right. There we go. Um, no, I have not, Nate, but I absolutely would. Don't, don't catch me slipping, fella. I love me a good fried egg on stuff. All right, guys, you ready to plate up? You guys ready to do this? <laughs> Hi! Hello! Caden's riding on mama's shoulders right now. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Let's transfer our avocado to our Morgan board. Okay. We're gonna remove the cutting board from the premises. We're going to move cornbread casserole over. <laughs> All right. Got our beautiful bowls. You don't eat pizza. Everyone eats pizza. Yeah, right, Mom. No, you eat pizza. All right, guys. Babe coming in with the babies. Thank you, thank you. Mama coming in with a 510. Bonnie coming in with a 400. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Appreciate it very, very much. You guys are too generous, I swear. Okay. You know what? I gotta add. I gotta add a little bit more uh, chili to my bowl. disproportion. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, got to have that fresh chin. Green onion. Oh yeah, buddy. Talking. Ba 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 ba. Why are you trying to steal my thunder, Caden? Jeez, bro. Thought we were a team. I get it. They like you. All right. 
green onion. Oh yeah? <laughs> you guys are Caden back there? Jesus. Whose man's is this? I'm gonna do avocado. We gotta get our dollop of sour cream. I need this. <laughs> Maxi, I wish I could feed you, my mans. Miss me some Maxi. Nice, generous dollop of sour cream. Yeah, dude, it's gonna be good. Now stop. <laughs> All right, then we gotta do a put a little paprika that I'm gonna sprinkle over. Sour cream. Perfect. That bowl's looking nuts. Thank you, sir. Father, oh father. Father, oh father of mine. Now I gotta figure out how the hell to get this casserole out. This bread here, this here bread, fella. Sick. Loosen her up on the sides. Got a slab of our cornbread casserole, dash cornbread, whatever you want to call it, same old thing. Mine might be a little bit more of a casserole here. We got this beautiful slice of our, oh yeah, get off my plate like that. I wash this plate, hold on guys. Baby, what is going on? Maxi with a 1,000 bits. Ryan coming over with the 20. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it. Mom with the 20. So we got our delicious cornbread casserole. Accompanied side. Let's get another side for Miss Kaylee. I'd say if I if I could, I would have let the casserole rest another ten minutes or so to really let it solidify. But we don't got that kind of time, so we're not. But regardless, thanks for all the biddies, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. I swear, you guys are so generous. Hey. Right. Hi, Keaton James. With what? Harnessed? Harnessed? Yeah. <laughs> but if he's facing you, it's okay. Wasn't so dangerous. <laughs> Make a pizza. 
Yeah, if we do something like that, we can. All right. Maxi with another 500 bits. You guys are out of control. Thank you, guys. All right. And then you know what? We're going to do a little sprinkle of paprika on the top of our... Ooh. Shoot. Let me put that in the sink. A little bit of a paprika sprinkle on our cornbread. Flavor on flavor on flavor on flavor on flavor. What we're looking for. It's okay, big boy. We're about to eat. Alright, guys. So, look. We're going to keep this on real quick. I'm going to go ahead and snap a couple pictures. And then we're going to go through all of the amazing things that happened tonight. It's okay, big boy. And then we're going to uh, get on, get you guys out of here. Alright. Let me snap a couple flicks, guys. Just give me one second. Gotta get some of this stuff out the way though, cause I don't want it in my way. All right, bowl of chili. Looks absolutely amazing. Get a nice close one. Gotta get our cornbread. Always. Spit the whole thing. Alright, perfect. Alright, guys, perfect, perfect, perfect. Sorry, I gotta take a bunch. Alright, guys, let's go through the damn thing. You know what I mean? So, tonight we had our amazing homemade chili um, served accompanied by my mother's delicious corn cas um, yeah, cornbread casserole. Super delicious. Now let's go through all of our amazing, amazing things that happened. Hey, Tipsy, what's happening? Thanks for stopping by. Everyone welcome in, Tipsy. All right, so let's go down our event list for tonight. Thank you guys for everything, seriously. All right, so, holy cow. So Bonnie, thank you for the sub and the follow. Um, thank all of you guys. We got Sleeping for Beauty, thank you. Uh, B B70, which is Bonnie. Thank you, Shifties, thank you. Pops coming in with the gifted subs tonight for Nemesis, Jalen, Ario San. Thank you guys, thanks for that Pops. Welcome you guys to the family tree. Maxi with a 15 month resub, thank you. My boy Derek coming in with a two month resub. Uh, Sue dropping the four, uh, the 510 bits. Bonnie with the 400, Kaylee with the 10, Maxi with a thousand. Ryan coming in with the 20, Sue with the 25, 25 for Larry, another 500 for Max, another 25, and another 20 from you guys. Thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you guys being here tonight. Welcome, all you new subs. Um, everyone that's had a good time watching tonight that didn't get a chance to speak up, if you enjoyed your time, hit that follow button. We'll be back here on Wednesday night, everybody. We're going to be going through our subscriber giveaway. I'm going to go ahead and go over it again right now, and we're going to go over it again Wednesday, and that's when we're starting. So starting Wednesday after the stream, any of my subscribers, you got to be a subscriber, please go ahead and check out the YouTube. Um, you can bring up the link in chat. I think I have the command for it with the right website. Okay. Check out the YouTube. Pick an episode, any episode. Recreate my dish. Take a picture of it. We're going to send it to me. And we're going to post the winner's picture and announcement and what we are giving away to you a week from today on Monday. So everybody, please get involved. I highly encourage each and every one of you guys, even if you don't cook that often, get involved, watch the video, 
go step by step, do your thing. Everyone have a great night. We're gonna choose somebody to raid. Please stick around, please show love. Spam those Cousin Drew emotes on my sub. Show some love, drop some follows. Uh, remember, it's all about good karma and supporting the cooking family um, and community here on Twitch. Um, it's important, you know, we're all connected. Um, what, 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 what's up, Nemesis? I'm gonna choose somebody to raid while we chop it up real quick. What's going on, Nemesis? All right, let's see. Food. Who we got streaming tonight? <laughs> Jason Sight. I don't know who you are. Never heard of you, but I think you are who we're going to raid tonight. Yep. You are the winner. Jason Sight. All right, guys. Show Jason some love. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for uh, for being here tonight, you guys. Seriously. You guys are just a ridiculously amazing community. You need to do the chili cook-off. We'll see. We'll see. A little more practice, maybe it'll happen. Jason is good. All right, guys, let's go ahead and stick around for this. Oh, Pops coming in with the gift sub to Tipsy. Welcome, Tipsy, to the family tree. Pops, thank you, man. You're ridiculous. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys, we're going to raid Jason. Everyone have a great night. I'll see you on Wednesday. Please show some love. Please, please, please show some love. We're going to get in there in just a second. Eight seconds, guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, everyone show some love. Spam those Cousin Drew emotes, everybody. Have a great night. I'll see you on Wednesday at 7 o'clock. I always forget i got to pull it up on my phone so I can hear. Do you have it on? Yeah. Yeah, turn it up. I can't hear it. <laughs> 